your XRP is going to crash 85 to 95 percent and then it will pump over 10x. Yes, you heard that right. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly why this XRP right here, historically speaking, and in the future, will dump a lot before the big pump. And right now, we are sitting at 35 cents as I'm recording this video. And this chart right here will be the main focus of today's video. But you want to watch all the way through so you understand what is going to happen next with your XRP. But before we get into this chart, I want to speak about some FUD that I've been seeing online with XRP. Like, for example, this article right here, it says how the top 10 addresses holding XRP control 73% of all coins. And this is false because if we scroll down a little bit, we will see that, yes, right here it shows the top XRP BNB chain holders in the world. And as you can tell, the top 10 right here, like the first one owns about 36%, second 13%, and so on and so forth. But this is only on the XRP that is held by BSC holders. So this is not all of the XRP in the world. But for example, there is about 64% of staked ETH controlled by only five entities. So the same people that are trying to spread FUD about XRP saying how it's centralized forget that Ethereum in many ways is controlled by a few number of large players, as this article suggests. And this article is actually true because it takes a look at Lido Finance, Coinbase, Kraken, Binance. It looks at all of the top platforms and not just Binance like this article. So Ethereum is quite literally controlled by a few number of large players and they control most of the staked Ethereum in the world. So that's something you want to keep in the back of your mind and this is another reason why CTO of Ripple David Schwartz explained why the XRP ledger is better than many alternatives so let's take a listen to this clip real quick it's about 30 seconds sit back relax destroy the like button and enjoy awareness of the XRP ledger as a layer one option has been increasing those speeds fees scalability low energy uses and I think the track record 10 years running and the built-in DAX tokenization, sourcing efficient liquidity. The XRP ledger rises to the fore as a core opportunity to differentiate against other chains with these features. Oh. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff coming to the XRP ledger, and that's exciting. And that is why XRP is much better than other cryptocurrencies. And I love crypto in general, but that is one example of why we own XRP. And also, new highs seem imminent for XRP price as Ripple has a lot of different catalysts coming up in Asia, for example. And it's only a matter of time until the United States lawsuit against Ripple is done with. So there's a lot of good things coming towards XRP and Ripple in the next few months. Now, why is this title, why is the title of this video XRP 85 to 95% crash and then 10X pump, right? So that is the main focus of this video. So if we take a look at XRP, historically speaking, in the first ever bull and bear market, this right here, okay, XRP went down about 95%, as you can tell right here. We basically hit six cents and then went all the way down to about 0.002 cents. So that's about a 95% drop. And then we went up a lot, okay? And that run up was about, let's take a look how much that was from the low to the top, that was literally 106,000%. So that's like 10,000x. Like I believe that's like crazy to see XRP do that big of a number. And then after XRP pumped this much, we basically lost another 96% from our all time high back in 2017. We hit three and a half dollars and then we went all the way down to about 10 cents before consolidating and going up. So we lost about 96% of our value. But what happened after that? We went from about 10 cents up to $2, which was a almost 16x 
from the low. So that is why I say that right now we are down about 85% from our high last year of almost $2. And yes, we can go a little bit lower if we do the same 95% drop as the two previous bear markets, we could see XRP go lower. But then after that, ask yourself, what's gonna happen? Obviously we're gonna go up and make new all time highs. And let's say XRP does it 10X from today's prices. That's already a new all time high. And if you know any Anything about technical analysis, the longer it takes for you to break an all-time high, and once you finally break the all-time high, you can expect a $7, $5, $10 XRP easily. So XRP in the next bull run, we could see it do at least a 10x and possibly much, much more.